Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Today I'm going to reveal the Vagabond collection from Japan and I think we've gotten so much good feedback on this collection. I'm sure you guys are very anxious to see everything. I kind of have a bunch of it laying out here. I do want to note that some of the uh, items or elements from this collection are out of stock already, but we already have them back on order. So if it's not available in stock, um, you can now click to be notified when it's back in stock. So that's kind of a new feature we have on our website. And I just want to let you know that if it's not there, we did have it, it's already sold out. So I'm going to go through each of these elements uh, individually, but I'm going to start with the paper. So the paper, um, new this season, they're adding these background collections, which I really like, and I think it makes it so much easier to put an album together with layers, so I'm very excited about that. So the pattern collection comes in 12 by 12, 8 by 8, and 6 by 6, and then you have this uh, coordinating uh, background selection. So I'm going to flip through both of these individually so you can see each one of the sheets each one of the designs in the 10 double-sided sheet pack. Okay, we've got lots of cut-aparts here. These colors are so rich and delicious. You guys are going to love it. I love these cut-aparts. These labels are going to be fun to use. This is going to be my next album, so I'm anxious to work on that. So right now I'm working on Aesop's Fables from Ciao Bella, and then this will be the next album I work on. And I think it's just I already have some ideas. But if you guys would like to see something um, specific, if you want to see a folio, an album, or a particular size in an album, please leave the comments below and I'll do my best to accommodate those. Lovely. Got a nice fish over here. I love these waves. And here's another one in the red. The red is really beautiful. So, I've got a nice collage sheet over here. Lots more cut aparts. Um, these are just great to have as design elements on a flap or a page or even a tuck spot. These are beautiful background sheets. As usual, lots of cut aparts. And those are the 12 individual designs for Sir Vagabond in Japan. Now let's go over all the goodies that come with it. There's just a whole slew. So first, I'm going to go over these die cuts. These are the clear die cuts. And these are um, relatively new. I'm going to show you the back. So these feel like plastic. The texture is plastic. They're quite um, glossy. Uh, so these are really pretty. It's really hard to show. I'm not going to open this pack because I'm not sure I'm going to use it in my album. Um, but I think they're really pretty and they are uh, beautiful. So you get 38 pieces in the, they call it clear. And to me, it's more like plastic. Um, then these are the traditional chipboard. And they, they have a little more shimmer than the paper. Little more gloss in the paper, but they're cardstock back, or I'm sorry, chipboard back. And then you get, let's see, how many are in this? 37 pieces. So you can kind of see the difference. They both, this is 38, this is 37, and you can see how, how thick the chipboard pieces are and how smooth these are. There are um, decorative chips that come with it. There's four packs. We've got the bamboo, the lanterns. This is, I'm sure, some kind of a cherry tree or something like that design. We've got these medallions and a fan and then a couple of little things. These are made of what is like a, a, a cardboard and they take ink and paint and you can do lots of different things with these. And they're fairly flexible, not like the wooden ones, which are very dense. These are about an eighth inch thick. They're laser cut, so you punch them out of the board and these are beautiful as well. The colors just turned out delicious, don't you think? And again, these are quite dense and I think it's on balsa wood um, and they're about an eighth inch thick. Yeah. And then here's the Sir Vagabond. I love this. These coins are beautiful. Okay. Then new um, to Stamperia, I think in the last season, are what are called these collectibles. And these are cut aparts. I'm going to go ahead and take this part because I am going to use this. So otherwise it's too hard to show it to you end to end. So we've got cut aparts. So we have these really bold images, and then interestingly enough, 
you've got a front and a back. So if you wanted to do something that's dimensional, like any kind of a pop-up, that pop-up, if you didn't cardstock back, it would have a front and a back to the image, which is kind of nice. Not on all of them, but on the people. So they did the same thing with her. So you've got her front and her back. Isn't that pretty? These are double-sided, but it's not front and a back. So if you cut this out, you would have her face on the front and you would also have her face on the back. And these are beautiful and perfect for cutting apart and layering on top. And that's the same thing they did here. So it's the same image, front and back. And it's it's a mirror image, so her hand is here and here, and that means you could, you know, leave it exposed on both sides. Okay, and they did the same thing with Sir Vagabond here. Look at these colors, they're just fantastic. It's so rich. I love it. Okay, some more elements that you can cut apart and feature as designs and give you an opportunity to do lots of layering. Isn't that neat? This is kind of the steampunk part. Then you've got this whole sheet of buttons, which are great to use as fasteners or just even design elements, um, just to add a little circle onto something else. And then you have a tuck spot, more cut aparts. And then of course on the back side, you've got some prints that you can use. Cut aparts, this is neat. And those are front and back. And this is nice. Okay. That is it for the collectibles. And then the last thing I'm going to show you in the Sir Vagabond collection is the adhesive back chipboard. Okay. And this is still in the package too. So you might be getting a little bit of glare. But if you go to our shop and take a look around, you can look at each one of these. There's detailed images available. In addition to that, we have a whole slew of new um, uh, rice paper that goes with the collection. To bring this up. I'm trying to do my best to cut the glare. That's pretty. I, I do have plans to use rice paper in the album. And all of these are made to coordinate with the Sir Vagabond. And I apologize for the air conditioning in the back. I was trying to sneak this in before it came on again. It's pretty warm here. So this is beautiful. Okay, and here's the Sir. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these images. They're just so beautiful. This is more of like a background design. A lot of times the rice papers will be very bold statements and it's nice that they're adding some of these um, just more simple background images. I think I'm gonna use this as a spine, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. So that's it for the Japan items and then there's some additional new rice papers. This is Flamingo and I just think she's so pretty. And then here's another image. Isn't that pretty? Look at those reds. They're so delicious. Okay and then we've got these fans. They're not part of the Japan collection but could easily be used there. And then just a background uh, image. So we've got some different uh, typesetting here and just uh, sort of Oh, looks like mixed media, right? Okay, so that's it. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys today is Stamperia's new set of 2022 calendars. So they have a calendar, and, and again, if you go to the site and click on any one of these calendars, you'll see, uh, and you drill down, you'll see the individual um, pages for each month in the calendar. This is for House of Roses, and there's a quick glimpse at the decorative uh, patterns that go with the month. This one is called Music and Passion, and so it's combining those two collections for the calendar. And I think they, they go together really well. So here's some of the music. I made an album some time ago with that collection. Okay, we know, we're all familiar with Vagabond now, right? <laughs> I still think that teapot's one of my favorite pictures. Okay, and then here is the Atelier de Arts. Okay. And this is uh, Christina from The Quiet. 
Cat Paper Company's latest album. We've got Amazonia, and she's also done a beautiful album with this as well. It has one of my favorite covers. And then last, and certainly not least, is Alice. Okay, and then you can see each one of the 12 detailed monthly pages. Okay, so do take a chance, or take a moment, go over to the shop, check out what's new. Um, everything I showed you in the um, Sir Vagabond in Japan is available on the shipping now, and we have some additional items that are on order coming in soon. One of those items I know for sure is the acetate sheets, which we don't have in yet. Well, that's not true. We've already sold out, so we're getting some more in. And that's it for this uh, reveal. So in addition to that, if you got this shout out, if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see that there's um, two projects that are uh, released on YouTube and all the accompanying tutorials are available for you guys to enjoy. Thanks for sharing some time with us here on Scrap and Create and be sure to go over and take a look at the latest projects that are available for you guys and take a look around in the shop. We'll see you soon.